So uh, the final question, can we end homelessness? And if so, how? That's a hard, that's, you know, that's, I think that's the, the big question, right? That's the, uh, and, and so can we, I'd like to think we can, I, I'd have to think we can, and surely we, and surely we can, surely we can come up with things. It's, it's, it, are we going to do it tomorrow? Is it a long-term strategy? It has to be a long-term strategy. But the question is, what are the building blocks that we need to have in place? What are the things that we need to have to at least begin to say, okay, we are doing what we know we need to do, and then we can begin to start learning more. Um, for me, everything begins with having the housing available. Um, removing that from simply as a commodity, a marketable asset in our society and saying, you know what, we need to ensure that we can create and establish and provide at the very least housing. I think that I, you know, I was, I was reading again that David Holchansky article on what is homelessness a word or what is homelessness. And I, and I, there's a quote in there that said, you know, um, homelessness might not just be about housing, but it's always about housing. At the, you know, it always must include housing. So for me, that's a baseline. You're not going to solve or begin to even think about any homelessness unless you begin to think about housing and providing that housing. And then, you know, again, thinking about the principles uh, of something like housing first, which is, you know, let's get people immediately as quickly as possible into that housing, provide them with a stable um, foundation, a place that provides good quality, stable, secure accommodation for people where they can begin to then establish and create and, and, and right and, and it has to be and, and, and one of the things that I've seen about the encampments in Toronto is one of the things that when, and, and the city of Toronto did a survey of, of some encampment uh, residents and they said why are you here one of the big things is because we have a community we have a network and so I think again it's about ensuring that you know we have housing where people can actually also be around with their networks and and have access to the things that they want and need and support so I think all those things have to play into it I think that we need to figure out what we mean by ending homelessness that, that the yardstick changes how we define ending homelessness changes uh, so we need to get that straightened out. And I think it can't just be an, a, a definition that's suitable uh, and that's simply workable. We have to have one that we actually believe in and that actually needs to end homelessness. But and, and homelessness, again, thinking about not just houses, but homelessness perhaps, um, we have to have one that's culturally, socially uh, suitable for different groups of individuals. So thinking about uh, indigenous people who are overrepresented in homelessness, um, what might be required by, by for digital thinking about the history of colonialism uh, and, 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 and reestablishing um, new relations and, and, and allowing for a sense of empowerment and control um, and overcoming the, the history of colonialism might require certain things and different kinds of things that allow for a home to be made. I'm thinking so different population groups um, um, in different communities, however that will be defined by people by themselves, um, will require it. So I think we, you know, we can end it. We are a very wealthy society, extremely wealthy. There are extremes of wealth. The inequality gap keeps growing. We we seem to believe that people can amass and uh, and uh, accumulate as much as they want, and they've earned it, uh, and, and so that allows them to do that. And we need to start rethinking that and thinking about you know what. Um, how should we redist how should we distribute wealth to begin with? How do we redistribute the wealth after it's been accumulated by, by individuals and households? Um, and how do we make sure that we can actually um, provide uh, the very least to start off with housing and the supports that people need? And then once we start doing that, we can begin to start tackling much more systematically, um, taking those, uh, you know, as, as I mentioned, um, we're talking about housing first and housing first and homelessness. And I think that what we've learned uh, from, for instance, the Mental Health Commission of Canada study is that um, even though they had the gold standard of, of resources available, where they were able to provide housing uh, that was affordable um, and uh, was getting better quality housing than the people who were in the treatment as usual or the, or the standard ways of doing things uh, a group, um, that there is still a population of people who found themselves back into homelessness, even with having to see somebody regularly, um, having supports at their disposal. And so they're trying to figure out, well, how do we address the needs of that population? Why are they falling back into homelessness? Why are people falling out again? And so there's still stuff we need to learn, um, but we need to have the housing. We need to have the, we need to have the willingness to invest 
and the resources that we need as a society to do that.